Today we are honored by the presence of Chris Hillenbrand, a sophomore of Regis High School in New York City. Last summer, Chris won the only gold medal for the U.S. at the 44th International Chemistry Olympiad, one of 34 students in the world to achieve this elite level of recognition. At 15, he was the youngest to capture gold at this event, where 283 contestants from 73 nations participated. Initially, out of 14,000 uh, chemistry students nationwide who took part in the local testing, 1,000 students made the national level from this group. He was one of 20 students selected for an intensive two-week study camp at Air Force Academy in Colorado. He was one of four students finally chosen to represent the USA. At Regis, Chris received the Order of the Owl for Excellence in every subject and the General Excellence Award for Outstanding Achievement Outside of the School Academic Curriculum. Chris runs the Science Bowl at Regis, a national competition for science and mathematics. At the Wardlow Harkis School in Edison, New Jersey, Chris took high school algebra, geometry, and biology during elementary school. Uh, in middle school, he continued with AP Chemistry, AP Physics, and Honor Physics, as well as SAT subject tests in math and chemistry. He earns perfect scores in almost every test he takes. And this is not just because he has a brilliant collection of neurons. <laughs> he works very hard at it. Uh, very often uh, six days a week and uh, also sometimes seven days a week. In addition to attending Regis, he's attending the Science Honors Program for high school students at Columbia University. Uh, on top of that, he also participates in the research project at New York University. Chris is a member of SET, Study of Exceptional Talent, at Johns Hopkins University. He qualified for violin at the New Jersey Regional Orchestra. He loves tennis and skiing. Ladies and gentlemen, with the highest appreciation for winning the gold medal for the USA at the 44th International Chemistry Olympiad in 2012, and for contributions to the advancement of STEM education, it is my privilege to present this plaque of merit to Chris Hillenbrand. Chemical Marketing and Economics Group. I very much appreciate their recognition of the gold medal I won this summer at the 44th ICHO. Participating in the ICHO was easily one of the best events of my life. Many people at the ACS have not only gone out of their way to be kind to me and to mentor me, but they have also made it possible for me to learn my favorite subject in depth. I want to thank Mexichem, Hulahem, Lockheed, and all the other sponsors of this event for their great generosity. I also want to say how much I value the discipline my two schools, the Wardlaw Hartridge School and Regis High School, have instilled in me. I owe these two schools, their faculty, and their principals a great deal. I especially want to thank Dr. Soche, who is here today. Uh, uh, for imparting to us students the meaning and the value of using our education to serve others. Let me now mention a few things about chemistry education. From my perspective, AP Chemistry is not enough to prepare students for the USNCO, which is the national competition held to determine eligibility for the International Olympiad. There's a fair amount of material on the national exam not included in normal AP courses. 
Besides AP, additional material should be taught to students preparing for this exam. Needless to say, it would also be of immense help for students to have inspiring chemistry teachers who provide extra guidance and motivate students to learn on their own. After passing the national exam and earning the privilege of attending the Colorado study camp, it was suggested that I read Organic Chemistry by Francis Carey and Chemical Principles by Peter Atkins. As the study camp approached, I and the other 19 participants were sent Olympiad practice questions, which scared us to death. I couldn't understand, only later did I realize that most of the other students were in the same boat. There was an enormous amount of material to wrestle with. The pile of books and papers on my desk grew rapidly during the camp. It was only because I had very talented mentors that I was able to digest the large quantity of new information. Please allow me to leave you with a few questions to ponder. First, why are we not as prepared for the international competition in chemistry as we might be? Is the quality of our high school chemistry up to par? And if not, what should be done to fix the problem? How should we plan and organize a solution? This is relevant not only for competitions like the Olympiad, but also for high school education in general. I would also like to discuss how chemistry is taught in schools. I think that if students are given more exposure to laboratory work, they will become more interested in the subject. Lab hours should be sufficiently long to support and inspire classroom learning. When the chemistry curriculum consists mostly of abstract and bland topics in high school, I think it's difficult for some students to sustain interest. In fact, quite a few students that I know dislike chemistry for these reasons. Additionally, I find that students are not taught about very many interesting chemical reactions. For example, most of them miss out on the beautiful chemical garden experiment, which produces a colorful forest of metal silicate structures from water glass and transition metal salts. Um, students don't have the chance to adequately explore the behaviors and reactions of actual chemical compounds in high school. In my case, reading about chemical compounds gave me joy and led me to understand that experimentation is a rewarding intellectual exercise. In order to increase interest in chemistry, we should re-examine the high school curriculum, increase laboratory hours available to students, and expand elective chemistry offerings. Perhaps other scientific subjects would also call for a similar re-evaluation. Students are a nation's human capital. We should invest in and nurture these potential scientists so that they can serve the nation's future needs. I am encouraged by the initiatives taken by industry professionals and universities to improve STEM education. I thank you for all of your support. As students, we appreciate your investment in us and hope to demonstrate that it was a sound one. Thank you.